welcome back to my channel. I am Shelly and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And I also do some um, consigning with both ThreadUp and the Rear Wheel. And so this video is going to be about the Rear Wheel. So um, I do have a box that I'm going to be sending off. But I also got a few comments asking if I can kind of go over the process a little bit of what it looks like to um, sell on there. So I do have a little um, list of things I want to talk about and I also um, pulled a few of my best sales so I will include those at the end as well so you can kind of see what is selling for a good amount over there um, and if you have any of those items possibly to send them in. So yeah, so um, getting started I really don't feel like it's too difficult you first have to start by making an account so it's just like your email um, a password and things like that and so yeah you can go ahead and do that and when you sign up you are actually assigned a rep and so it's kind of nice that they do this because you are able to contact your rep you can email them um, all the ones I have had they give you um, their phone number and so you can even like call them text them um, have meetings with them and just like, ask some questions and so that's super helpful in my opinion and they have definitely helped me out a lot um, and so yeah you always can ask them questions too um, about you know will you accept this item or um, just questions about your payouts or just really anything so that's super helpful okay so then when you're getting ready to actually sell items on there so you have a couple options you can either schedule a concierge appointment and so basically what that means is a rep you it's not I don't think it will be your rep it would just be like a random person from the real real in your um, state or around your area and I don't think that every state can do it but I know this is an option open to me and I am outside of Boston Massachusetts and so you can schedule an appointment and they will actually come to your home and they will kind of evaluate your stuff and then they will actually take the stuff with them and ship it and so that way you really don't have to do much at all um, but you know you do have to have someone come to your house and everything so that is an option um, I have not done that yet I might do that in the future but normally what I do is I just get a label from them and then I ship it myself um, but again it's just like the rep is super helpful because I have had them like schedule a UPS um, pickup for me multiple times. So they just totally schedule it for me. They say put your box on your doorstep by this time and I do it and they pick it up. So that's super nice as well. Um, but yeah, so those are the two options you can do um, and that is just on the website. I think I'll try to insert like a maybe a screenshot or something so you can kind of see what that looks like. Um, and how you can do that but when you are shipping your items they give you a packing list and so what this packing list is is just you put all the items that you're going to be sending in so that way um, it kind of helps them I know they like having that packing list ahead of time so they can kind of like get things in the system easier and like faster before you even get your stuff sent out and this also kind of helps them, I think, just with um, inventory purposes and everything. So they know, you know, what you all send in and stuff. So, yeah, so that is nice. Um, in the past, I had just done like a written packing list and I would send a picture to my rep. But actually, the last few times I've sent boxes, they have an online packing list now and you actually like type everything in online which I think is nice because you don't have to like send it ahead of time um, to your rep it just goes into the system like that so that is helpful and I think that's just like kind of a newer feature that they're doing okay so now once you have packed up your items and everything and you've gotten your packing list done you can like I said um, send your stuff off it's they send you a free label so you don't need to worry about that or of course you can do the concierge's appointment and then they take it for you you don't have to pack it but you can pack it in whatever box or you could probably use a bag too but maybe just be a little weary of that using like a poly mailer um, just because the items might get crushed or anything like that especially like shoes or bags and but yeah so you just pack it up and you send it off to them 
and unlike ThreadUp, the Real Real is super quick to process my boxes. I feel like it's usually, I, th I think on their website they say like two weeks maybe is their processing time, um, but so it is pretty quick and then any items they do not accept from you, they return to you and that's super nice because you don't have to pay for any return shipping or anything, they just send it right back to you. Um, and I know you can kind of resend items maybe if a different time of year or maybe it's not accepted at that point and then they start accepting that brand later. So you can always do that for any items that they didn't accept from you. So yeah, when they have their your items, they will start getting things photographed, um, listed and everything. And um, there is like a payout structure, which there's three different tiers of the Real Real. So there's three different um, like commission rates that you get. So there's the Insider, which is under 1500 sales in a year and then there is the next one which is icon which is um, 1501 to um, 9999 in a year that's your sales and then the next tier is the VIP which is over anything that you make in a year over 10,000 and so with those rates or like your tiers I guess um, you do get paid out more and so the Insider is 55%, Icon is 60 and VIP is 70 but it is a little different because depending on what your item is priced at, that's also based on how much you're actually going to get. So I will insert like a graph or something. Um, I know they have one so I can insert that and just take a screenshot of that for you guys so you can look at it a little bit better and you can pause the video and look at it. Um, it is on their website as well, so if you are curious on um, prices that you will get for each item, you can look at that. So it's just all based on what they price it at and everything and what level you are. So yeah, okay, so that is kind of getting started selling on their Real Real. Um, let me know if you have any other questions. It might be a little bit different when I started versus now because I think I made my account maybe two years ago and didn't really sell for a while, but um, I have been sending in boxes more in the past like six months or so. Um, so yeah, might be a little bit different. This is just kind of like from my experience. Um, and I know someone asked if you have to do like an interview when you start, and I didn't. Um, I did talk to my rep on the phone and she kind of helped me get started with my first like box. And so you can definitely do that. And I think, I don't know if they make you do that, but you can do that if you like. Um, just to like kind of you know, like get um, the hang of it more and they can help you through it a little bit better than you know just by t trying it yourself um, but yeah so now we're gonna get into what I'm sending into my next box I might need to break this up in two boxes because it's quite a bit of stuff um, I try to whenever I'm at the bins I always try to like look stuff up of different brands I don't know if they are accepted on their designer directory and so yeah so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be sending in so this first item is a Perenza Schuler bag and I got this at the bins and I've had it listed now I don't know I want to say like at least two months and it hasn't had any attention so I figure I'm going to send it in there I got it at the bins so I you know I paid very little for it and Hopefully they can sell it. So yeah, it's a really pretty bag and I'm hoping that it will have some better luck over there. So I will let you know where I got everything. This next piece is um, Beg & Co. Um, but I'm not sure. And there's a couple little holes. Hopefully they will still accept it. Um, but this, again, I just got at the bins. It's Angora and Wool and it is a scarf. And I looked it up when I saw it was um, nice fabric content and everything. I looked it up and they accept this brand. So I'm going to send that in. Next is another scarf. And this one is a vintage Christian Dior. And this is wool again. And so I'm going to send this in. I got this from the bins as well. Um, I could try to sell it myself, but I don't know. I just, sometimes I just like not having to photograph and just send it away. <laughs> All right, this has been listed for a while um, and not really any attention, so I'm gonna try sending this in. 
It's Escander or Escandar. I'm not exactly sure how to say it, but it's just like a boxy t-shirt and we'll see how that does. Next is St. John and I really like sending St. John into there. Um, it sells usually pretty quickly and this is just like a um, pretty long skirt so I'm going to send that in. And then this next set is St. John and it's a really nice like sweater kind of material blazer with these really pretty jeweled um, buttons. And so I got this in the bins actually, and the skirt was also there. So I'm gonna be sending that in. Hopefully that will do pretty well. Next is a dress, and this is Escada. And I got this at a consignment store, and it was in like their sale bin kind of thing. And I want to say it was $5, so we'll see how that does. Next, these are actually also Escada, um, but these are just like a pair of trouser pants. And yeah, so these I picked up at the bin, so that's why they don't mark pants very high, I've noticed. So we'll see. Even if I get a little bit for them, I do get them at the bins. Um, next, these are actually a pair of shoes that I sent in once and they were not accepted so I'm going to try to send them in again. I think they weren't accepted because the size, like I can't find a size because otherwise maybe I would just list them myself but I can't find a size. And so they're actually Prada and they are vintage. Um, they do look to be like a bigger size but yeah they're just like a little kitten heel kind of shoe. And we'll see. I got these at a regular Goodwill, but they weren't marked up or anything. So hopefully they'll accept those this time. This I got at the bins. It's Helmet Lang. And some of these things, I still need to steam them. I'm not going to send this box out today. Um, but yeah, this is just like a asymmetrical zip kind of jacket. Next, a few of these things was were in my... Uh, a few bin haul... Ben's hauls ago, I want to say. So you might have seen a few of these items, but this is Marina Sport. And this was from the Ben's. And this is also the same brand, same pattern and everything. Um, this one doesn't have the size, but I'm assuming they're the same size. And it's like the skirt. Next is Soft Joie. And it's just like a silk button down. Another joie piece, another silk piece, and these aren't like gonna sell for a lot there. They won't price them super high, maybe like 50, but I got them at the bins and they were very lightweight. So I figured, and when I'm selling other things that I got at the bins myself, then really like I already have made all my money back from that bins trip. And so these items are really just anything extra is more profit. So. This is Joie again, again silk. Next, these are Hugo Boss. Um, I'm not sure if they accept that. I don't know if it's on their list or not, but I am gonna send these in. So I think I've seen other people send them in. And they're really good condition. Those are from the bins. Um, this is, this is just Saks Fifth Avenue, but it is a mink for like snood kind of thing and so we'll see i do know they accept furs like even like fur coats and stuff um that are like not any certain brands so we'll see if they accept that this is renee lazard and this again needs steamed but it's just like a linen blazer and this is from the bins this dress is very fun it is super vibrant. It's bright pink and orange. And it is maxi length. And this is Tibby. And this is the older tag. But this is from the Benz. And it is silk. So hopefully they accept that. Next is Sonia Rykel. Um, and this is from the Benz as well. And it's just like a velvet, I don't know if this is a dress or what, but yeah, it's just a little velvet piece. 
couple more items. I think this is um, joie again, yeah. Just like another silk joie top. And then the last item is this Max Mara. And unfortunately, the size was cut out. So we'll see if they accept this. Um, but it's just like a little sheath kind of dress. And this I picked up at the bins as well. Okay, so that is this box is what I'm going to be sending in next time. Um, and I don't think I'm going to put on the screen like if they accept it or not. I think I'll probably just post this video, but I we'll see. I might do that. So now I'm going to go through my top sales. This is my top six sales. And I will like go backwards from least to most in profit. Um, and so yeah, and I will put like the little picture on the screen or something. Okay, so the um, last item is a St. John Evening um, blazer, and this sold for $148, and so that person got 20% off, and so my commission rate for that was 50%, so I ended up getting $74. And then the next thing is a Christian Dior um, silk blouse, and that was purchased for... $135.50 and that was actually 50% off their listing price so that item was on sale um, but I get 60% commission so I made $83 on that um, next is a pair of jeans and they are fear of God is the brand I've sent a few items in um, a couple joggers from them as well those didn't do as well as the jeans um, but the jeans sold for $198 and that was at 60% off and I got a 55% commission, so I made $109. And then the next item is a Burberry London jacket, and that sold for $189, and that was 40% off. And then I get 60% commission, so I made $113 on that item. And the last two items is a Laura Piana um, blazer. And that sold for $224.25, and that was 35% off. And then my commission, again, was 60%. So I did go up into the next, like, tier recently. So, yeah, so that was 60% commission, and I get $135 from that. And then my highest selling item I've sold on there is a Brunello Cuccinelli um, Pico, and that sold for $267.50. And that was at 50% off and I got 60% again and so I made 161 so yeah those are my top six sales on there I do have some that are you know pretty low but um, when I'm sending stuff in from the bins like I said it's really just extra profit because the items that I'm listing from the bins I am making like all the money on so yeah I enjoy selling on there and it's super easy to sell on there so definitely try it out if you haven't they have a designer directory that you can easily look at and see all the brands that they accept so yeah thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any other questions um, about the real real or about thread up or anything and yeah i'll be sure to answer them thank you so much bye